Are you hungry? Give me something, something good. Hi, and welcome to a new episode of Girlgut. Today we're grilling steaks, we're grilling nice ribeye steaks. And with that, we're going to serve a Benes sauce, which is you probably all know, but with tarragon in it. And I'm going to make kind of a cheating bayonnaise so it's a really quick one and it's quite an easy one I'm making it straight on the heat so no water bath nothing like that I'm making it with just salted butter I'm not melting it before I'm not making my own vinaigrette for it there's a special vinegar in Switzerland it's kind of a herb vinegar it's perfect for making a quick bayonnaise and then we have some tarragon but I'll walk you through it but let's have a look at the at the different ingredients first. But before we start, as always, please click the subscribe button and the little bell icon to get notified when new content uh, comes online. Now it's time to get cooking. So these are beautiful ribeye steaks. The only thing I'll do to them before we grill them is I'll put some olive oil on top of them and some salt and pepper on both sides. So that will be a quick preparation. For the um, Bayonnaise, we have to separate the yolks from the two eggs and that's the starting point. Then we'll, in preparation, we'll cut up the butter in small pieces. We'll chop up the tarragon and that's about it. Let's start prepping. So the easiest way to just chop up the tarragon is to fold it once and then go over it. That should be enough for us. Now the easiest way to kind of separate eggs in a way that kind of assures that you never do it wrong is to just crack the whole egg in a bowl and then with your hand just scoop up the yellow and let the white run through your fingers there you go one more And there you go, perfectly separated eggs. And with the butter, it's just to prepare because we need to add it kind of bit by bit. So all I do is to cut it up into smaller pieces that I can easily grab with my hand and put in the pot. So you see, eggs in there, we put in a couple of pieces of butter. Put it on medium high and all you basically do is whisk and never stop whisking now we managed to melt in all of the butter and now we just need to get the right consistency and keep whisking the whole time as you can see i took it off the heat a bit i'm gonna add a little bit of this vinegar perfect you don't need to put any salt because remember we had salted butter so that's a trick if you don't want to if you want to save yourself a step use salted butter another quick taste a little bit more of the vinegar put the tarragon in And voila, you have a quick bayonnaise. It's, it's cheating a bit if you know the kind of original French recipe, but hey, in the end, who cares? It saves time and it's easy. Now let's get on with the meat. Look at these two beautiful ribeyes. So as I said, a bit of olive oil. Put your hand in there. Perfect. We'll do some salt. Last but not least, some pepper. And then the same on the other side. 
and then we start grilling. So we're ready to put these babies on. And while they are on there now for a bit, I'll go get some aluminum foil so that we can put them in the aluminum foil while they rest afterwards. And also get my uh, quick thermometer. I always like to give it a check. I will just turn them, not upside down, but just rotate them a bit. So we'll get some nice griddle lines. And I picked up the aluminum foil and I have the th thermometer. I will wait a bit and I will turn them. It's time to turn them. Do our first check. So 40. I want them to go up to just under 50 and then they will go the rest while while resting basically. Because if you do them to like 54, 55, which medium, and then you rest them, they will be over. I would say another minute or two max. Let's check again. Forty nine, perfect. I'm taking them. Put them in the aluminium foil. Close it. Now we'll let them rest for ten to fifteen minutes. And after that we're ready to serve. So let's slice slice some meat. Sorry for the dog, but she's a meat eater. There we go, we'll start with that. We want some of our lovely bernays. Nice spoonful. One and a half. And then we want some rosemary oven potatoes. Now we're ready to taste. Bon appetit. It's <laughs> fantastic. First take some meat without anything. Mm. Nice grilled taste. Mm. With the banana. Again, you saw, it doesn't take long at all. It's not complicated. Yes, you might screw up the banners the first time you try it because sometimes it gets a bit too hot and then you get scrambled eggs. But if you practice once or twice, you will have it down for sure. The important thing is to go long enough so that it really, the butter and the egg yolks really kind of merge together. Because if you don't do that and you let it stand for a bit, it will separate again. But this stood now for probably 20, 25 minutes and no problem. Got some more. And ribeye for me is, is probably one of the best cuts to grill. It has a very nice kind of fat on it that renders well on the grill. It's my second favorite. My favorite is Mietzapfen, um, Ondle, what's it called? I'll put it up there, what it's called in English. Ah, it's called hanging tender. But this comes second, second in my book. Mm. Beautiful. As always, well, first of all, I hope you enjoyed it. But as always, if you stuck for me this long, there must have been something you enjoyed on the video. So please do me the favor, click on the like button below. Also, if you haven't done so yet, the subscribe button. That's it for this time. I hope you join me next time. I'm not sure what's coming up, but for sure something to eat. And for sure something I like, and therefore probably you like. Uh, thank you for this time. Take care. Bye-bye.